Hi everybody, my name is Stephen Yellen and I am Buddy Biancolana's partner and either you have learned the program that you're practicing from me or you have learned it from my famous partner Buddy. So this is going to be the first of a series of videos that I'm going to make that will go over some of the main points that you learned. And as you know, the program you learned is very simple but very powerful, it's certainly very different. So it's good to be reminded on a periodic basis just what you learned and just what you're trying to do when you're performing whatever sport you're performing. Now, when a pitcher is pitching really well or a hitter is hitting really well, or a tennis player is serving really well, or a golfer is putting really well. What are they really trying to do? What is their real goal? Well, it's really a no-brainer kind of question because on the surface level, a pitcher is trying to throw a strike. A hitter is trying to get a hit. A server is trying to ace a serve. And certainly a putter is trying to make the putt. But what do they have to do first in order to accomplish those goals? What do they have to do first? Well, again, on a surface level, pitcher has to have good balance, he has to have good rotation, he has to have good footwork, batter has to have a solid base, he has to keep his eye on his ball, on, on the ball, uh, a server has to toss the ball in a certain way. Putter has to stroke the ball in a certain way. These are surface observations that, that these athletes have to do. But what do they really have to do first? Well, the first thing they have to do is they have to access a deeper level of the mind-body connection. If they don't access a deeper level of the mind-body connection, a pitcher is not going to be able to hit his spots, a batter is not going to be able to get a hit, a server is not going to be able to ace a serve, and a putter is not going to be able to sink a putt. That's because the body is connected to the mind, and in order for the body to perform well, you have to understand and access the deeper levels of the mind. There's just no other way to do it, whether you've taken this program or you've never taken this program. It's inconsequential. So, what an athlete has to do first is they have to start switching their priorities. They have to understand that in order to throw a strike or in order to get a hit, they have to access a deeper level of the mind-body connection. And of course you know what that experience is when you access that deeper level. Time is experienced as moving slowly, slow, slower. The intellect starts to become very quiet and the fast twitch muscles really start to fire. That's the priority, is how do you have that experience first and then you'll be able to throw a strike and get a hit. If you don't have that experience first then chances are you may not throw a lot of strikes or get a lot of hits. So this first video has to do with switching your priorities. Understanding first from an intellectual level what needs to take place in order to produce successful motion. Now what needs to take place in order to produce successful motion? Well, you have to have that signal not be interrupted and analyzed by the prefrontal cortex so it goes right to the motor system so the muscles get intel intelligent direction from the brain. That's the first priority. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it whether an athlete understands it or an athlete doesn't understand it. This is the neurophysiological prerequisite 
for creating effortless and powerful motion. So when you start to switch your priorities, when you start to understand motion from a more fundamental level, when you start to understand that motion is simply a byproduct of the processes in the mind that produce the motion, you will have a much better chance of reproducing motion, consistent motion. Now, I still play competitive tennis at my old seasoned age. And when I play, my priority is completely different than my opponent. My opponent feels he's playing against me. My opponent feels that if he hits better forehands, if he hits better backhands, if he serves better, if he volleys better, then you know what? He's probably going to win. And if I do that better than he does, then I'm probably going to win. My priority when I walk on the tennis court is completely different. I don't feel that I'm playing against the other player. Sometimes, but not most of the time. I feel that my priority is not to hit a good forehand and not to hit a good backhand. My priority is to access that level in the mind that will allow me to hit a good forehand and a good backhand and good serves. You see the difference? He's playing against me. I'm not playing against him. I'm playing essentially, we, we all know this, we're playing against ourselves but I'm playing to see whether I can access that deeper level. My priority is completely switched. My priority is in the gap. Where's the gap? His priority is what is Stephen Yellen doing on the other side of the court? And that gives, one, gives me an enormous advantage because I understand what produces motion. And my whole goal for an hour and a half on a tennis court is to access that level that produces effortless motion. Intellect shutting down, time moving slower, fast twitch muscles firing. So when you make this switch, and it's a big switch, it's a big paradigm switch, it's understanding motion from what happens when there's no motion. It's understanding motion from where motion originates. First of all, it takes an enormous psychological pressure off of your shoulders because you realize that you don't have to reproduce a complicated motion in order to be successful. You just have to reproduce where that complicated motion originates. And that's a field of silence. That's what the drills do. We'll talk about the drills in another video. So when you make this switch, when you change your priority, when you understand what your real priority is, it'll give you an enormous competitive edge. Whether you're an amateur or you're a professional, whether you're playing in the World Series, or you're just playing a Saturday afternoon round of golf. So that's the first video. You guys got it. You girls got it. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll... We'll send you another one, or you'll have access to another one, on the website, which will talk about another theme. Okay, hope everyone is doing well. Catch you on the rebound.